Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We have yet another pick a card reading here. This is going to be a reading, a rating, a reading based on how do they currently see you? How are they viewing you? Let's find out. Pile one on the far left here, we have what you think of yourself is so much more important than what other people think about you. Pile two says be more of who you are. Pile three says be protective with your energy. Pile four here says you can't be yourself if you're trying to be liked. And last but not least, pile five says stop holding yourself to impossible standards. You guys can choose more than one pile. Before we get into it, please like, comment, and subscribe as this does help my channel. I appreciate you guys if you do, and if you don't, I appreciate you guys as well for watching and tuning in. Um, pause the video if you need to. Let's go ahead and get started with one. Okay, my group ones, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So let's go ahead and just figure out um, how do they currently see you? So you guys choose or chose the card that says what you think of yourself is much more important than what other people think about you. So they're seeing you right now as someone who's just doing their own thing, someone who's not worried about them, someone who's not worried about what other people are thinking of them of what you're doing here this feels very self-sufficient this feels very independent this feels very badass this just they kind of just see you in your element right now um i'm not really getting an attitude of like fuck everybody i'm just getting one of uh feeling more empowered and just not caring and focusing on you right i mean these are pretty self-explanatory cards which I really like they're very direct and very much to the point as well the universe is giving you exactly what you are ready to receive so yeah they're seeing blessings coming your way they're also seeing that you are making yourself uh, available to receive these blessings here they see that you I'm getting Saturn return some of you guys could be a Capricorn or there's just something in regards to work to where maybe you could be getting a job, a promotion, you guys could be getting a raise or um, a different stream of income, creating new streams of income, something like that here. Something to do with the 10th house, Saturn, Capricorn energy is really what I'm picking up here. Um, very focused, very much focused on your direction. Stop giving your energy to stuff that does not align with who you are. Yes, they see you very focused on what it is you need to do, what it is that you need to take care of at this time. They could also see you walking away from them. They could see you um, not wanting to engage with them or give them any attention. see them right now so we have movement yes they see you moving on they see you moving on very quickly as well and you see how the snake is um, just wrapped around its egg I'm getting here they just see you very much guarded they see you very much uh, protective of yourself protective of what it is you have accumulated at this time they could just see you focusing on your kids Focusing on your family, focusing on your projects, your work, your business, whatever it is. They, they see you um, like from once a stagnant energy or at least how they thought you were. It, they're now seeing you pick up the motion here. Let's 
my group ones. How do they see my group ones right now? So we have patience. And you see this turtle shell here, or this tortoise shell? This makes me think of very slow moving and guarded energy. So they see you very much guarded. They see you very much going your own direction. And they see you in this energy of being very much passive, very much yin. Um, and I know we have this movement card here, but I'm just getting in a sense to where you're willing to wait for what is for you, is what I'm picking up on. They're seeing abundance come your way. They're seeing um, whatever you have been working on. They're seeing growth in that. And we have the universe. So yeah, um, this is the world card in this deck, or at least how I see it. Um, they see you ending things with them. They see a new cycle happening for you, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot. I think I want to use this deck. All right, so let's see, let's see. My group ones, how do they see my group ones? How do they see my group ones? So we have justice. Some of you guys could be a Libra. This person you are dealing with is a Libra. Uh, but with justice here, they see you as kind of um, being able to tell a situation right from wrong they're, they're seeing you do the right thing they're seeing you play very fairly they're seeing that you're wanting uh fairness you're wanting balance you're wanting uh to level things out here justice doing the right thing being very logical when it comes to you and this person also with justice, um, they see good karma, good fortune coming your way as well. All right, so let's see, let's see. My group ones, how do they see my group one? We have the ace of wands in the reverse. So they're seeing you very much like burnt out at this time. They're seeing you very much um, kind of losing uh, the spark, losing the flame when it comes to this person in a romantic sense. And if this is a friend or just someone other than a romantic kind of thing, they're kind of just seeing you lose interest. They're seeing you go your own way. Let's pull some Oracle cards. So we have to the C in the reverse. So they could also be seeing you as someone who is still a bit emotionally kind of stuck on the situation. Uh, to the C is a card all about moving on to better things, moving on to calmer waters, just moving on in general. Um, but when it's in the reverse, it could talk about feeling um, like our emotions are still there, even though we are um, in the process of 
changing. We're in the process of transition. Regeneration. So this is like the death card in this deck. And it's in the reverse. So yeah, I think with these two cards that we have coming out, they, I'm, I'm getting like a sense, they think that your emotions are still stuck um, in regards to whatever happened in the past between you guys. But nonetheless, they see you moving forward. Okay, what other cards do I want to choose? Let's pick a couple of these cards. Oh, okay. So we have, there's not only one way. Your uniqueness is important. Follow the path of the heart. Your differences are not defects and each person's journey is different. So yeah, they just see you, um, I'm just getting going your own way in my group ones. They're seeing you watching and doing what's best for you. Don't lower your standards. Yes, so... Um, once again, pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, so they're definitely seeing you kind of just taking things at face value, being very logical when it comes to analyzing the situation is how they're seeing you, and they're just watching you act accordingly. Let's pull a few more tarot cards to end this reading. So we have the Eight of Wands. Yes, yes, yes. I love the Eight of Wands. It's a card all about moving very fast. It talks about the energy picking up again. It talks about feeling like we're in our mojo. Um, the Eight of Wands is a card that's all about uh, having the green light. Okay, it's all about things that were once stuck, uh, things that were once blocked for us picking up again. We have the Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse. So with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, this is a card all about um, getting out of our comfort zone. Okay. I just, how they see you as well, I'm seeing a couple on this card. Um, it seems like they're enjoying each other. I don't know. It seems like the female has more interest than the male here, but with it in the reverse, um, I'm seeing here that kind of the tables have turned or you have lost some interest here. You finally like letting loose now. Seeing things for how they are. And we have the Six of Cups, yes. So um, very loving energy, very much bright energy here, especially with this Eight of Wands. The Six of Cups is a card all about the past. It's a cup all about, or it's a cup, it's a card all about um, children as well, old memories. So they could see you as kind of still being stuck in the past a little bit. They could also just see you very much involved um, with kids, maybe you have had kids. Um, yes. Okay. 
And then we have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is a card all about sacrifice. It could also speak of a card of being stuck in a situation and not really knowing how to move. And then we have the Four of Pentacles with the Hierophant. So yes, with the Four of Pentacles, they do see you preserving yourself, preserving your energy, um, not really showing them your cards. Um, and with this Hierophant energy, they could see you very much involved in school or in work or taking care of your business um, or just kind of doing things in a very traditional way not really wanting to um, be spontaneous when it comes to this connection or be rebellious, kind of just in this justice energy of um, acting accordingly, seeing things for how they are. So my group ones, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I am going to move on to group two. Thanks for playing. Hey my group twos, what is up? Let's go ahead and just hop right in and see how do they currently see you. So we have this card that states be more of who you are. So they're seeing you very much uh, authentic. They're, they see you very much real. Um, I'm getting Capricorn energy in this reading as well as group one. Um, but they see you very independent, they see you taking care of business, they're kind of just seeing you um, riding with yourself and riding with people who are going to be there to you, loyal to you, solid with you, um, and kind of just moving away from anything or anybody else that doesn't make you feel like your best or make you feel grounded and yourself. They see you very focused on what it is that you need to take care of and what it is that is best for you. All right, so let's see, let's see. Okay, so we have two cards. We have visualize your highest self and start showing up as him or her. And we also have stop expecting from others. Ooh. So let's see, what am I getting from this? They're seeing you give more attention to yourself. They're seeing you work yourself up. They're seeing you give to yourself. They're seeing you very focused on your career, focused on your projects, focused on your goals, your business, whatever it is that you have going for you that's um, gonna be beneficial for you. Please excuse the background noise. How they also see you as someone who's just very chill. It's like you don't bother this person, you're off here doing your own thing, they see you very independent, and they just get a sense to where they, they don't feel like you're going to ask much from them or ask anything at all. They see you very secure. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards. So let's see, for my group twos, we have Reflect. So they see you very much in a an introverted kind of energy to where you're really reflecting upon some things in your life, reflect, reflecting, oh my God, or reflecting upon this connection between you and this person.
Wow, withdrawn, yeah. Very introverted, very much hermit kind of energy going on here. You guys could be a Virgo or a Gemini or you are dealing with one here. But they're just seeing you um, quite possibly wanting to be alone or just very much just doing you. And then we have patience at the bottom of the deck. So these three cards here feel very passive, feel very deep. How do they see my group twos? How are they seeing my group twos currently? So we have rebirth in the reverse. This is also known as the judgment card in the reverse. So yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm really getting that they're seeing you as someone who uh, does not put pressure on them, someone who is not judgmental when it comes to their ideas or when they say, hey, I can't, I'm busy right now, or I'm doing something, or whatever the case is here. They just see you very chill, very go with the flow, because at the end of the day, it's like you're going to take care of yourself as well. You understand people have other lives. People have their own lives. They could quite possibly also see you as someone who's not going to return, someone who is not going to come back to them, someone who's not wanting to revive anything with them. The High Priestess. So the High Priestess is a very intuitive card. It talks about trust. It talks about being very observant. It talks about being quiet and kind of just letting our uh, gut feeling guide us. So that's how they see you right now. They see you as someone who's just following their gut feeling, following their intuition when it comes to you guys. They see you on the right path. Sagittarius as well, or maybe you guys are a Pisces or a Sagittarius. Yeah, so with this card being in the reverse, I feel like they're really seeing you finally listen to what it is that you want. They're seeing you drop the facade. They're seeing you, and I love that we have this right next to the High Priestess as well, which is all about um, inner power, being our true selves. Also, what this card speaks of as well, this is kind of like my Seven of Swords in the reverse. Um, I know this could this pairing could also talk about secrets. Um, they could see you as someone who found out some secrets about them, or maybe they're finding out some secrets about you. 
but I'm just getting um, being authentic is how they're they're seeing you now. Finally, listening to yourself, and we have round and round in the reverse. So round and round reverse talks about um, not being in a cycle with this person anymore, not doing the same old, same old, kind of just breaking uh, that bond here, breaking that same routine that was really quite detriment. You know, it doesn't have to be detriment, doesn't have to be in a very drastic way. It could just be anywhere that just was not working, right? all these cards upright but for some reason they're like reversed okay so let's choose some of these my group twos How is their person currently viewing them right now? So we have, it will not open if it's not your door. So yeah, they're just seeing things for how they are. Things did not work out the way that uh, either one of you planned or maybe they planned or maybe you planned. Um, there was expectations here that someone could not meet or someone thought was just too much. Um, but I think that both of you guys are seeing this as Things did not happen for a reason. And then we have this very chill card, this very uh, aroma therapy kind of card going on here. So they're seeing you very chill. They're seeing you let things be as they are. And let's pull some to finish this off. So let's see my group two. My group twos, how are they seeing my group twos? We have the Knight of Wands. So they're seeing you kind of just hop out of this situation and hop into new situations. They're kind of just seeing you get your mojo back. They're seeing you in this very fiery Knight of Wands energy that just feels very creative, that feels very optimistic, that just feels very uh, like back on your feet almost. They definitely see you moving quite quickly as well, getting over the situation quite quickly. We have the three of ones, I love it. The three of ones, I, al I always kind of get a self-care kind of vibe because she's sitting down having some tea or coffee, it looks like she just got out of the shower, um, and she's just relaxing and enjoying herself by the fire. Um, so they could see you this way. They could just see you um, taking care of yourself, doing what you want to do, nurturing yourself at this time. The Three of Wands is also a card of uh, wanting new, waiting for new things to come in. And they're seeing you manifest it as well. Um, with this Knight of Wands on this card, it does show a woman who's kind of like setting up a ritual right now, setting up candles a certain way, um, has some herbs going. It looks like she's getting ready to uh, do some spells or magic. And then the Three of Wands is all about manifesting, right? Waiting for your ship to come in. They could see you a bit of a player as well. 
Let's pull one more card, my group one. And we have the star card. How sweet. So, um, yeah, with the star card, they're definitely seeing you be more you. They're seeing you be authentic. They're seeing you shine at this time as well. There's something to where they see you as um, like a great example. They, they see you as a star, really. They see you healing at this time as well, healing yourself. They could just see you focused on your kids, focused on your pet. Aquarian energy coming through. They're seeing that there is a new you, that a new version of you that you are stepping into and that you are allowing at this time. They definitely see you healing. So my group twos, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group three. Thanks, group two. Hey, my group threes. Welcome to your reading. Let's get right into it. You guys chose the card that states, be protective with your energy. I think, uh, I think this is a crystal. It looks like a triangular shaped rose quartz. Rose quartz is a crystal that is very helpful and useful for people who are trying to uh, love themselves more, people who are trying to heal their heart, their heart chakra. Great card for self-love, great card for attracting love as well. Um, be protective with your energy. They see you working on you. They see you being very selective with who it is that you allow in your inner circle. They see you very uh, much mindful with the things that you surround yourself with. It doesn't just have to be with people. It could be the way that you talk to yourself, right? Etc. They're very much seeing you in this energy of being very cautious and mindful at this time. Let's pull another card. Okay. Take what you need. So this says, uh, you know, a nap, peace, kindness, a hug pizza, coffee, but the one that they're grabbing says cash. So exactly what this card says, take what you need, right? So they're really just seeing you only want to deal with things that you need, not what you want. And for a lot of you, it's money. A lot of you, you guys are just focusing on gathering your coin, you're focused on your business, you're focused on your investments, whatever the case is here, but they just see you very much focused on what it is that you need to do to take care of at the end of the day, your goals, etc. My group threes. So we have the revolutionary. So the revolutionary is a card all about um, wanting to set fire on things, but not in a crazy kind of way, but in regards to whatever is not working for you. It's bringing death to things, but also bringing light to new things. They're seeing a fire within you, really wanting to uh, make a change, take a stance, uh, do something new. They're seeing you do what's true for you at this time.
they're seeing you as inspiration at this time too like whatever you're doing it's giving them ideas it's making them feel inspired we have the observer so they could see you as someone who is observing them maybe they are observing you I mean, this is a reading based on what how they see you right now. Um, but I just feel like they're kind of... Hmm. They're really watching you take stock of what it is that you have and what you're around. And they're really seeing you wanting to manifest and move forward and... Uh, bring new things to life. They're seeing optimism within you. These cards are so pretty, especially when the light hits them. My group threes, how are they seeing my group threes right now? They're definitely seeing you in your power. We have the magician being in the reverse. Ooh, interesting. So we definitely have ma- or manajai. <laughs> We definitely have Gemini energy coming through here. You guys could be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini. But with the Magician in the reverse, this talks about an energy of, um, of not feeling very confident, which I feel like kind of contradicts what we were talking about in the beginning here. But we are also talking about how they see you. So they could see you very much in this on-off energy of kind of just starting things. Maybe this magician in the reverse is a past previous energy that they may have seen you in. Please excuse the background noise. Let's pull another card. Ooh, the Seven of Swords in the reverse next to the Magician. So they're kind of seeing you right now um, in an energy of... They could quite possibly be seeing that your mask is falling down at this time. Or there are just some kind of secrets coming out about you. I'm not sure if there was something that had happened here to maybe something was exposed about you and now you are kind of just going off on your own way, just being focused on you at this time. Because the Magician reverse of the Seven of Swords, I do not like this energy. I mean, we've all been in this energy before, but there's something how there's, they're viewing you right now, my group threes, to where... Um, something that they think that you're not being honest about. And we have temperance being in the reverse. So temperance reverse, uh, first of all, is Sagittarius energy. It also talks about feeling unbalanced. It talks about our emotions not being handled very well. We also have opposite energy coming through as well. So. We have Gemini and Sagittarius. Um, a lot of the times when I uh, do some readings, I notice that Sagittarius and Geminis um, usually come up as soulmates. 
So I don't know if you guys are dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. But they're seeing you try to move on. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards. So we have new life in the reverse. So new life in the reverse talks about, yes, new beginnings happening for us. Uh, but when it's in the reverse, it talks about there could be some delays or things just have not turned out the way that they, that you quite possibly wanted it to. And then we have Treasure Island. So they definitely see you moving towards new things they see you moving towards gold they're seeing you moving towards new opportunities here okay but at the same time they're also seeing a bit of struggle this is how they are per perceiving you treasure island can also be a card of um <clears throat> it doesn't have to do with you know, striking gold or something good happening, but it could also talk about um, pinpointing what it is a situation is all about, like being able to find out the reason for something, being able to, for example, um, from my personal experience, um, I, it was something in regards to asking the cards if my previous dog that I had before if he was okay and I had this treasure island card come up um, I forgot exactly what it was I asked the card but I asked something in regards to like is he sick or if, is there something going on and I pulled this card and later on we found out that um, he was later paralyzed in his back legs so this is just from my experience to um, how that can uh, translate so let's go ahead and pull a couple cards from this deck. So we have, it will not open if it's not your door. So they're definitely um, seeing you as walking away from something that was not meant to be something was not working because it was not meant to be and we also have these tarot cards so if you guys have a tarot channel this person is most definitely watching your tarot channel they could see you taking an interest into the occult or into crystals or uh, practicing some kind of spiritual arts and it, just applying it to your daily life three so we have the ten of cups so the ten of cups is a happy ending card they're seeing that you're just wanting to end things peacefully they're seeing that you're wanting to end things on good terms and they definitely see you also like you could um be with people or in another relationship or dating other people right now that could be taking your mind off your past situations um overall they do see you very happy we do have the lovers, so some of you guys could be getting married at this time or have been married. 
Um, I'm definitely seeing a relationship with that Gemini energy here again. Um, Ten of Cups, the Lovers, wow. And we also have the Five of Wands being in the reverse. So the Five of Wands reverse is, it talks about not wanting any drama. It talks about the tension being loosened. Some of you guys are in a new relationship. They see you very spiritual at this time as well. Okay. So my group three, quite an interesting reading. I got uh, two different energies from this deck or this pile, excuse me. So group three, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group four. Bye, group three. Hello, my group fours. Welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. But I'm going to drink some water first. Okay, so my group four is you guys chose the card that states you can't be yourself if you are trying to be light. Okay, so how they are seeing you right now, um, they're definitely seeing, seeing you very independent. They're seeing you in this attitude and energy of just being authentic not caring what people think about you in regards to maybe the way that you dress, your decisions, the way that you view things, the way that you speak on things, whatever it is here. They're saying you're really not trying to impress anybody at this time. Okay. So let's pull another card from this deck. So let's see, it's too many cards. So my group fours, how are they currently viewing them right now? So we have stop being the old version of you. They're definitely seeing a change within you, whether it's a drastic change or it's just a change when it comes to this connection. Um, they're seeing you wanting to switch things up. They're seeing you kind of turning the tables on them a little bit. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we have don't tell me what to do. So this feels very sassy, the, these two cards here. They feel very sassy. They feel very much like I know who I am. I know I'm my own person. Nobody's going to tell me who I am. the explorer so yeah they're definitely seeing you wanting to uh, travel to new territory wanting to explore new ter territories they're wanting god I cannot talk nor make a sentence um, they are seeing and perceiving you as wanting to um, go off in a new direction and I like here that we have with this navigation, there's a heart at the bottom and there is an eyeball at the top. So they're really seeing you wanting to do what's true to you, wanting to follow your heart at this time and your intuition. So 
let's see, let's see. So we have reflect. Some of you guys could be um, isolating yourselves from this person right now, or you could be um, not really communicating with them. They're seeing you kind of in a uh, withdrawal, inter introverted energy, and they get a sense that you're reflecting on what it is that you want from this person, uh, what it is that you want to change about yourself. Or the connection let's pull some tarot My group four is how do they see you? How are they perceiving you right now? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Great news. I love the Wheel of Fortune. It's such a good card to get, especially when it's upright because it talks about new things coming in. Not only that, but it talks about good karma and good fortune being on your side. They're definitely seeing you wanting to roll with the changes, wanting to roll with the punches, ready for the new, ready to close out cycles here um kind of almost like in this acceptance kind of energy here Ooh, and then we have the seven of swords in the reverse with the six of wands to the lovers so this person definitely sees you like in a good light um i'm just not sure if there was some kind of um, secrets that came about this person or some secrets that have came out about you. Um, if there were some secrets or something you did on your end that, you know, your best character did not come out correct on, or at least this person thinks, um, they're still seeing you walk away pretty victorious. They still think that you're, you're kind of like in your ego. But nonetheless, they do see that good things are coming for you. They do see that good fortune and good karma is on your side. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. My group four is how does their person see them? We have Treasure Island. Please excuse the background noise. So Treasure Island is a card all about kind of like finding something. It's like X marks the spot, like you found the hidden treasure chest, right? It talks about striking gold. So they're definitely seeing you on this path of wanting to strike gold. They could see you doing so right now, but it, it's almost like they're just seeing you in this level up. They're seeing you in this energy of just wanting to get better uh, and just follow your internal compass and kind of just isolate yourself from them or just people who... Um, do not bring out the best in you. We have building blocks. I love building blocks because it's a card all about, I'm getting the song Aaliyah, if, um, dust yourself off and try again. Okay, it doesn't matter if you were in the right, it doesn't matter if you were in the wrong, it's all about getting up again and trying again. They're definitely seeing you in this energy of building yourselves up, wanting to be more stable, wanting to be more grounded, 
And you see the way that she's the only one that's on this building block. Um, and it's, they see you very solo, very solo. Let's pull some of these cards. My group fours, how do they see my group fours? How are they perceiving my group fours right now? We have find yourself first. They're seeing you give back to you. They're seeing you focus on you. Invest in yourself. And then we have, you are going to piss a lot of people off when you start doing what's best for you. So maybe this person is kind of mad at you or they're just feeling some type of way about you um, due to you kind of going off in your own direction. You not caring um, how this connection may have left off. Um, they just see you very focused on your money, very focused on building yourselves up. And they definitely see, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune and Treasure Island, just some good things that you have accumulated or you're about to at this time or you are working on. My group fours, how are they seeing my group fours right now? So we have the eight of cups. They're seeing you done. They're seeing you move on. They're seeing you move on to things that are truly going to fulfill you. The eight of cups talks about almost like the four of cups. It's like having options in front of you, but not being what you want but the difference between the four and the eight of cups is that the eight of cups is making the effort to uh find that fulfillment the queen of wands wow the queen of wands is very much a bounce back energy this is someone who has the will and the confidence to keep going even if other people um may not see them in the best light or other people are doubting doubting them the queen of wands is very independent very solo someone who's just going to keep pushing forward you guys could be a sagittarius with scorpio in your chart and then we have the two of pentacles so the two of pentacles talks about being able to work with what you have being able to capitalize on it, being able to make something out of nothing. Um, the Two of Pentacles also talks about uh, somebody who is in the process of turning their hobbies into like a business. The Two of Pentacles to me is a hustler, okay? So, my... Group fours, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group five. Thanks, group four. Hey, group five. Last but not least, we finally made it to your group. What is up? Let's hop right in it and see... Group five, how does your person see you at this time? So the card that we have is stop holding yourself to impossible standards. All right. So this feels very much like self-acceptance. -accept this feels very much like someone who knows their worth, someone who knows that they don't have to be a certain way or act a, once again, a certain way to get what they want or to feel validated or to fit in, etc. Um, they're seeing you as someone who is now finally placing some boundaries. Having more acceptance of yourself as well.
Take what you need. So we have a nap, a hug, pizza, coffee. The one that this person is grabbing says cash. So they could just see you very much focused on your job, your career, your business, your projects, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, they just see you very focused on building yourselves up, very focused on creating your own stability, feeling more grounded and real and authentic um, in you very much, uh, I want to say to the core. And then we have put yourself first. So yeah, they're definitely seeing you put yourself first at this time. Putting yourself first. I'm getting an energy of someone always doing something for others. Someone who was always taking care of others or giving to others, but now I'm seeing an energy of not doing that anymore. I'm seeing someone finally buy the things that they want. have the wildling so I want to read this card again uh, I kind of forgot what it means this will be very fast guys so let's see 118 the wildling is raw empowered and independent Many people are intimidated by them because they need little from others and prioritize radical freedom, which can be unsettling as most of society operates within unspoken expectations and contracts. The wildling burns the contracts and heads into the woods. Uh, wildling comes to us as an ally when we need to break free of the system that limits us. All right, I think that ties in very well. We have the warriors, so lots of swords. They definitely see you as like uh, searching for the truth or living in your truth right now, my group fives. They're definitely seeing you in this alpha energy, uh, very uh, male empowered, female empowered. The warrior is someone who is gonna um, How can I say this? All of a sudden I'm forgetting what the messages of these cards mean. Um, but the warrior is someone who is very strongly themselves. Um, once again, people are intimidated by this warrior person because of the things that they say or the things that they do. Some of you guys could be an Aries. I'm getting an Aries male, a very strong male energy for this pile. We have temperance in the reverse, so we have Sagittarius energy. I love that we have temperance in the reverse because this card to me signifies someone who is not, someone who's finally rocking the boat. Someone who's not letting things slide anymore.
and the Nine of Cups. Wow. I'm getting Sagittarius and Piscean energy. Um, Nine of Cups, they see you fulfilled. They see you happy. They see you having everything and just being very content. And you see the way that he's eating alone as well. <laughs> they seem very happy alone. Very self-sufficient. Let's pull some oracle cards. Let's see, how are they viewing my group fives? How are they viewing my group fives? We have poised in the reverse, so um, I'm really getting an energy of this person kind of hating on you a little bit, uh, my group fives. It's like they're really seeing you kind of shine out here, but they feel like, um, once again, back to this warrior energy like and this wildling energy, these are cards of someone who is fiercely themselves, um, and other people don't like that sometimes so i'm getting here with poised in the reverse it's like they're kind of just like i don't know nitpicking some flaws of yours all right so let's see what else wants to come out and we have unfinished symphony so um, they could also be seeing you as someone who is kind of dwelling on some things. They could see you as someone who's kind of like having a pity party sometimes, whatever the case is, or the fact that you're probably just speaking out on something or um, speaking out on something that could bother you. And they're kind of just seeing it as like, like, damn, can't she just get over it? She or he get over it. Wow, and we have serendipity. So they definitely see good luck is on your way, especially with this Nine of Cups, very fulfilled. Both of these cards have to do with wish fulfillment. So let's choose a couple of these cards. Growth looks so good on you. Keep doing you. So yeah, they're definitely see, seeing you grow. They're seeing you come out of your shell. They're seeing you not be a person that you once were before. They're seeing you kind of like break through your own cage. And we have, you are enough and don't fuck with my energy. They're definitely seeing you more alpha now. They're seeing you kind of have more sass, more of a diva attitude, more of someone who will push people away and draw boundaries if necessary. Someone who will speak up and be like, hey, I don't have time for this right now or this makes me feel some kind of way. They're also seeing like you are accepting yourself. You are... Um, Sprinkling some self-love. No, you are drenching self-love on you, my group vibes. Um, and let's pull these tarot cards to end this reading. Let's pull a few. How does their 
how is the person seeing them right now? So we have the Six of Swords being in the reverse. So the Six of Swords reverse could mean that they see you as someone who's having a hard time letting go of the past, having a hard time letting go of some things that may have affected you or traumatized you in the past. We also have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So they're really seeing you not wanting to... Um, I like that we have the Five of Swords reverse because this talks about any pettiness or drama or competition going away or kind of just setting things straight they don't get that energy they don't get this vibe from you here they do not get a vindictive energy but there could be some things in the past that either you kind of hold against this person or just something like that here for some of you And we have the nine of pentacles. Yes, yeah, so they're seeing you a lot more secure with, within yourself, my group vibes. They see you very independent and they definitely see you as someone who um, not only brings something to the table, but you bring the whole damn feast. You bring the whole table. You bring the whole cookout. Okay. So this is awesome. So my group fives, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated in any kind of way. Please let me know if it did. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye group fives.